Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be ranking all of the Spider-Man skins from both Miles Morales and the PS4 game. Now Spider-Man 2 is just two days away from releasing. Maybe it's already out by the time I release this video. Who knows? Maybe I didn't get it done fast enough. If you do enjoy the video, you know, leave a like, subscribe, etc. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to go ahead and start with Miles' skins. Uh, so starting off with the spider training skin, I believe is what it's called. It's fine. I don't really care too much for the civilian clothes suits. So just going to put it in not my taste. Next, we have the winter clothes suit, which I actually really do like this one. I'm going to put it in spectacular good. Um, I would prefer it if it had the normal Miles outfit underneath it, but obviously where it takes place in the story, that doesn't really uh, fit. Then we have the spider training outfit. Looks pretty good. Um, I think because of all the bagginess of it, I don't love it. So I'm going to put it in just all right. The homemade suit, it's pretty accurate to what it's supposed to look like, but just don't really care for it. Miles' actual main suit for the game, the first one, looks really good. I'm going to put that in ultimate tier because I really do think that that one looks really good. Next, we have the track suit, which... I also think looks really good, and honestly, I'm kind of shocked that they didn't make this the main suit for their game. I really like that one. I do think that the classic one looks a little better, but I think parts of this one look better. The mask specifically just looks better for some reason. I don't know. Next, we have the winter suit. This one is, is not good. It doesn't look good. I don't like it. Same thing with this Brooklyn one the uh, Brooklyn Academy. I don't like these outfits. And like, I know I liked this one, but this one just looked cool. Like if, if you're going to have the clothing on top of the spider suit, you need to have more than just little hat or coat because these are basically filler skins to bump up the count. Similarly, the Uptown Pride one is like that, but it still actually, you know, looks good. So we're going to put that in the amazing tier. Shocked that this isn't returning in the new Spider-Man game. Also, speaking of, um, if you want to see all of the suits that are in the new Spider-Man game, click the link in the top right corner of the screen and you'll be taken to that video. But uh, maybe wait until you watch this one because this video is actually, you know, really good, obviously. The end suit I actually really do like. Um, the pants aren't perfect on it. I think that they're a little odd. So I'm going to put it in the amazing tier. Um, the strike suit. Um, I don't love this one. I do like the way it incorporates the yellow, but it just, uh, it's just going to be an all right. The Prowler suit, really love this one for some reason. I don't know why, but it just looks so good to me. The Programmable Matter suit is pretty good. I really like the special takedowns that you get with it. It's good. The 2099 suit for Miles is also really good. Really love this one. The way they did the eyes glowing with like almost mist coming off of it, just looks so good in the game. The 2020 suit. I really like this one, but I also feel like, I don't know, I'm going to put it in amazing, I think. Then we have the Into the Spider-Verse suit. I think it's pretty good. With its uniqueness alone, it gets put into this tier. I really do like it. Um, I personally just don't love the Into the Spider-Verse suit in general, but I like the cell shading and such for it. So going to put it there. Next is the Crimson Cowl suit. This one's pretty good. Don't love it, but gonna put it there the bodega cat suit something that's always kind of bothered me with this suit is the fact that uh is that the mask is not the normal suits mask as you can see they've got a whole different spider suit underneath this one that you just don't see and i actually kind of like it but i also don't i wish it honestly just had the normal mask but i do like the suit and i know this sounds weird but i think it would be cool if you could toggle the cat on and off because i think having the cat there is kind of weird sometimes we're gonna put it in just good i'm gonna get hate for that then we have the marvel spider-man cartoon so I think that this is based off of the newest one, but I've seen some people say it's based off of the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, so I don't know. Um, I think it looks pretty good. The design of the actual suit is better than this one, but I like the animation shading for this one a little more, I think. So I'm going to put it in just good. Then for the last suit, we have the uh, free update suit, the advanced tech suit. I think that similarly to how they did the anti-ox suit, this may have been planned to be kind of like that for the final battle against the tinkerer in that game. I think it's pretty good. Um, I think that the main issue with this skin is that the lines on the webbing are not very well defined. That's my biggest issue with it. So I'm going to just put it in the good tier. 
Now, that is all of Miles' suits, so we're going to go ahead and go on to Peter's suits. Starting with the Amazing Spider-Man suit. I really like this one. I honestly like this one more than the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. That's going to be controversial because a lot of people really think that the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit is the best one. But this one's just so unique. The colors, it's a bit too busy with the all of the different texturing. But I really like it anyways. The Advanced suit. Hear me out. Before the release of Spider-Man 2, and like before seeing images of the new advanced suit, the 2.0 one, I would have put this in Ultimate. But I think that the changes that they are making for the advanced 2.0 honestly makes me like this one a little less. I think the coloring could be improved a lot. It's kind of a little too orange. I think that having the spider logo off of the red looks fine, but I kind of like it better on the inside. So we're gonna put it in Amazing. Similarly, anti ox suit, Amazing, really unique suit. I like it when suits glow. I'm just a sucker for that kind of aesthetic. Then we have the Kamen Rider, I think, or the Arachnid Rider, I don't know what it's called. It's fine, it's really, really, really unique, but it is not my taste, really. Like, I just don't really care for it. I go back and forth on liking and not liking the Armored Advanced suit. It's really similar to both the Anti-Ox suit and the Advanced suit. And I think that this is also was a concept art for what the anti-ox suit was going to be. But obviously it got its own special design to look more like the actual arms of Doc Ock. I really do like it. I think that if the red on this suit was this red, it would look so much better. I think honestly, my biggest issue with it is the mask being white. If the mask was red, I think I would like it more. We're going to just put it in all right. I'll use it occasionally, but I'm not going to use it more than some other suits. Then we have the Bombastic Bagman suit. Great nod to the comics. Personally, would have preferred if it was not the Bombastic Bagman suit though. I would have preferred it just be the normal Fantastic Four suit. I really do like it though still, and the fact that it was just a free update suit is pretty fun. But um, we're going to put it in just alright, because it's a little too silly for me to wear most of the time and take seriously. The classic suit, really good design. This is the perfect Spider-Man suit, or uh, the perfect classic Spider-Man suit, should I say. I really do like this one. The damaged version, I think honestly, it's okay. Now, the way that it's shaded, it's got some dust and grime on it, so it's a bit darker. So overall, I think that this one looks better. And honestly, I never use this outside of my first playthrough because why would you want the damaged one? So it's in not my taste because I don't care for it. Next is the dark suit, which this was basically the uh, what most people used in replacement for a symbiote suit because there was no symbiote suit in the first game. Really unique suit. I like that it has the claws on it and stuff, but overall, I'm not super into it. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think it's good, but not going to go any higher. Electric proof suit. Really unique suit. While I don't love it as much, just the fact of how unique it is makes me like it more. So it's going to go in good. Then we have the ESU Peter suit. Not my taste. Like I said before, not into the whole civilian clothing with a spider mask just not really my thing then we have the fear itself suit this may be weird but i actually like this suit but my biggest issue with it is i don't really like the gauntlets they're kind of annoying and a little too bulky i feel like honestly if this skin did not have this i would probably put this in amazing but i'm just gonna put it in good future foundation suit uh this is hard because i really like this suit my one issue with it, and this is going to be a weird issue, I don't like the eyes. I wish the eyes were less 3D. I don't know if you can see it in this video, but there's like a weird outline on the suit also on the mask. I really like it though, so I'm still going to put it in amazing, but I just wish that those features kind of weren't there. Now, then we have the homemade suit, which I really like in the movies, okay? I really do like it. It looks weird on this game's Peter. The head shape just doesn't look right. I don't think it looks very good. I think if the hood was up, I would like it more. It's not my taste. I'm going to get hate for that. Most people love that, but I just am not a fan. Iron Spider suit. Shockingly, this is one suit that the Avengers game kind of did a better job with because this one looks very orange in this game kind of a similar issue to the normal advanced suit. And personally, while it was fine, I just kind of had a, the whole time I used it, just wished they had the actual Iron Spider suit in the game instead of the MCU one. It's just going to be an all right. I actually really like this suit in the movies, but 
the colors being so off just made me not want to use it. Next is the Last Stand suit. Personally, not super into it, but it is very unique, which makes me like it. So we're going to put it in the good. Anyways, then we have the negative suit. Pretty good. Um, a lot of people, including myself, prefer the normal negative suit from the comics. But the advanced negative suit still looks really good. Now, the noir suit, I really do like. And I'm honestly going to miss this suit. I'm going to put it in amazing. Because I think this one's really well done. Scarlet Spider Suit. Ultimate. This is one of the best jobs that Insomniac did on any of the suits. Like, I'm going to just zoom in. Look at all of this wonderful detail that they added. Now, I'm not saying that a suit, all suits need detail. This classic suit doesn't have a lot of extra detail, but it looks really good. And so does this one. As long as you don't take it too far with the extra detailing, I think suits look good. Next is the Secret Wars suit. This was just a poor man's Miles Morales skin because they didn't have the Miles Morales skin. It's just fine. I don't care for it that much. I believe this is the Mark III suit. I really like this one. I think that it, the only issue I have with it is I would have preferred it be a little more shiny, to be completely honest. So we're going to put it in just good. Then we have the Speeding Bullets slash Mark II suit. Really like this one. Such a unique design with the black and the gold. Mark IV suit. Controversial. I love how this suit looks in the game. The way that the shiny metal reflects off of all the light just looks so good swinging around. Just love it. I don't know how I feel about the green glow. It's not my favorite, but the rest of the suit makes me love it so much. Similar to the Scarlet Spider suit, the detail they added with the 2099 suit looks so freaking good. Love this suit. Spider Punk suit. I have never been a fan of Spider Punk as a character, and I just think that it's a little too edgy, to be completely honest. I'm just not really into it, so it, it's just, it's not my taste. Now we have the white 2099 suit. Not as good as the normal 2099 suit, but it's still pretty good. So we're gonna put it in just the spectacular tier. All right, so now is the Ghost Spider. Such a unique skin that I never have wanted to use. I love the fact that it has the flame. Love the skull. Honestly, my biggest thing I don't like about it, it's the freaky toes. I don't like the toes. They freak me out. They freak other people out. So it's going down here. Then we have the Stark suit. Now this suit, very good suit in the films, very good suit in the game. Going in amazing. Big time suit, ultimate tier. One of the best of the best spider suits. Just really one of the best ever. Really disappointed about uh, its fate in Spider-Man 2. Then we have the Night Monkey suit or Far From Home stealth suit. It's not my taste. It's fine, but honestly, I can't see myself ever using this over the Noir suit. So honestly, I just would use the Noir suit 9 times out of 10. This is just not my taste. It's really not necessary. Undie suit. Not my taste just don't really care for it. It's kind of funny, but I just don't ever actually want to use it. Now the upgraded Far From Home suit, also really good. It's going to go in ultimate. I like the black and red color scheme. I wish the symbol was a little bit bigger. It's a little too small for me. That's what she said. Anyways, Velocity suit. One of the best original designs for Peter in this game was the Velocity suit. I think we got very few original designs. We had the dark suit, advanced suit, anti-ox suit, uh, this suit, as well as I think this one's slightly new, as well as the this one, the resilient suit. The rest are all based off of something, but the velocity suit was kind of like the first new suit that they made. And I really like this one. It's just very unique. I love the maroon and kind of muted blue as well as the glowing blue. My one thing with it is I honestly wish the glow was a little more intense and in that it also had like a glow on the eyes because the eyes don't glow as far as I remember. Then we have the Vin... I can't remember what this is called. I think it's the vintage suit or maybe comic suit. I don't know. It's really cool when you first unlock it, but after that, it kind of loses its charm a little bit. It's going to go here. I like it. I think it's really cool, but I also just don't want to use it very much. Now the webbed suit. A lot of people don't like this simply because it's not super accurate to the films. I like it. I think it's well done. Um, my biggest thing with it is the eyes not being 
not moving, but also another, it's based off the film. So obviously the eyes aren't gonna move. Same thing with this one, as well as what was the other one I had that issue with. Honestly, I think just those two. Now the homemade slash wrestler suit for Peter for this game, it's all right. I don't love it. I'm not really into the wrestler suits in general, but I also do think that it needs to be in the game. I mean, that's a big part of Spider-Man's history and origin. So I think it needed to be here. So gonna go in good tier. Black and gold suit. Seemed like a really cool idea. Didn't matter in the movie whatsoever, basically. Never really want to use it, but also I will sometimes. I like the gold, so we'll put it there. It's just all right. Now, this suit, I like this suit, and I've gone back and forth on liking this suit more or less than this one. I love the gold. I think the gold's a cool, fun thing, and it works in the context of the film. Just don't really think it's super necessary. So, gonna put it that there. Aaron Aikman armor. This is just a spider armor that is worse than all of the other spider armors, to be completely honest. Just gonna go in all right. It's fine, my biggest issue with it is the super bulky boots. Now, Cyborg Spider-Man. Not really my taste. It's fine, it's all right, but I just don't care for it too much. Like, I just don't wanna use it ever. Same with, honestly, that one too. Spider-Verse Peter. I honestly like this one more than the Miles one simply because of the suit design, I think just looks better on this. Also, I really wish I would like this one more if it had the red lining for the webs instead of just like the muted one. Obviously it makes sense in the movie, but in the game, just kinda, eh. I'm torn with this one. I usually like the added detail they give to the Spider-Man suits for this game, both of the games. But for this one, I feel like they just added too much detail because if you don't know, the Iron Spider suit in the comics is nanotech. Most people hate nanotech now, but this is meant to be nanotech. It's supposed to be extremely smooth as a suit. It's supposed to basically be an extra layer of skin, kind of almost. So it's kind of just too bulky. It's got too many lines. Honestly, really wish that they added on top of this suit a Iron Spider suit that was more accurate. So it's gonna go in amazing. Then we have the Resilient suit. One of the only original suits for the first game. It's fine. My biggest issue with it is honestly the eyes being so tiny on it. It just makes me not ever wanna use it. Now the Scarlet Spider 2 suit, Kane suit. Amazing suit, I mean, amazing design, amazing detail. So good. Mark 1 armor, amazing once again. The reflections on the suit just look so good in the game. 10 out of 10. Manga suit. I don't, I don't care for this. I don't like this really. It's fine. I mean, it's honestly just not, it's Paul level. It's Paul level. I'm sorry. It's just not good. Then we have the UK suit. Honestly, a pretty good design. It kind of has a more uh, purpley tone to the red, but it looks good. I like it, but it's not my favorite. Also, British spot a man. So that is our entire list. So there you go. Um, I'll put a link to the list in the description if you want to do this yourself. And I'll be doing another one of these for Spider-Man 2. And I will put all of those suits onto this list or vice versa and have them all combined. And we'll see how they compare. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. And I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.